All right, let's do perpendicular. So I have two points, the same points I did for finding slope of parallel lines, but this time I'm going to find the slope that's perpendicular to this. So first, what do I have to do when I get these sets of points? Find the slope. So here is the slope formula again, y2 minus y1, whoops, over x2 minus x1. And then again, when you plug your points in, remember that whatever order pair you pick, the x and the y go under each other. This time I'm going to put b first, just so that you can see me do something else. So I have m is equal to y2, let's make it 9, minus y1, which will be negative 5, over x2, which will be negative 3, minus x1, which is 4, okay? So now when I rewrite this, I want to make sure I rewrite it with different, you know, with my addition. So let's do that. So two negatives make a positive, so that's going to give me m is now going to be equal to 9 plus 5, okay? Here I'm going to do the opposite, so that's negative 3 plus the opposite of 4, which is negative 4, okay? So when I do that, now I can actually work this out. Give me some math. So that would be m is equal to 9 plus 5, which is 14. Negative 3 plus negative 4 makes negative 7, which gives me negative 2. Now that's the original slope, okay? If I was doing parallel, I'd stop because I'm using the same slope. But if I want perpendicular, perpendicular slope means to change the sign, so it's going to go from a negative to a positive, and then it means to do the reciprocal. Well, if I have negative 2, what is that understood number that goes here in the denominator? It's a 1, that's right. So if this is a 1, to do the reciprocal, reciprocal means take your fraction and flip it, so that gives me 1 half, and it goes from being a negative to a positive. So the slope of the line that's perpendicular to this is positive one half, okay? So I did the reciprocal, meaning I took the fraction and I flipped it, and then I did the opposite, meaning I took this sign, and if it was negative here, I made it positive here, okay? Now let's try this one. So this is our line that's in standard form, and let's put it in slope-intercept form so we can find the slope that's hiding in there. So let's move that 5x over by doing the opposite, which is subtraction. And that gives me negative 3y is equal to negative 5x plus 8. And then I'm going to divide by negative 3, right? Because I have to get rid of that. So I do that all the way across the board. And that gives me y is equal to positive 5 thirds x minus 8 thirds. And again, what I said in the previous video is the fact that negative 8 thirds, that's our y-intercept, who cares? We don't care what it is. I'm not asking you to graph it. All I want you to know is, boom, that's 5 thirds. That is the slope of the original line. Your slope, the new slope, the new slope that is going to be perpendicular to this line is the opposite, meaning this is a positive 5 thirds, yours is going to be negative something. And the reciprocal, reciprocal means take your fraction and flip it, so 3 over 5. So this is your slope that's perpendicular. Negative, the opposite, 3 fifths, the reciprocal, okay? And that's all there is to finding the slope of parallel or perpendicular lines, okay? I'll see you again next time.